Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me story time video, and I'm going to also be showing you my new hairstyling tool. So let's get cracking. Hiya, first I've got to apologise for my voice, it's the tail end of the virus that I had. Not the virus, you know what I mean, but a virus that I've had. So, um, my voice is a bit sort of croaky, a bit cracking, that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, right, I'm, I'm feeling fine, you know, I actually am feeling fine now, it's just the tail end of it. So, um, I, I'm going to film another one of these Get Ready With Me Story Time videos and I'm going to be telling you a bit, a few stories about my grandma who were hilarious, absolutely hilarious she was. Um, but first off, I wanted to show you um, my new hair styling tool. So, this company called VKK contacted me and asked me if they could send me um, a hair styling tool. I straightened my hair because in reality, my hair looks like a dandelion clock when, I, when I've washed it and dried it. It's massively sort of frizzy and sort of does this business. It was fantastic in the 80s, but you know, since then, <laughs> it's not been the most popular hair to have. So, um, when they said they'd send me this, I thought, yeah, great. I normally just use a sort of hair dryer and then a set of hair straighteners. But this styling tool, I'm going to show you it. So, it came in a box like this which I thought were a lovely box for a start. I thought it'd make a great Christmas present for somebody. Um, yeah, VKK, can you see that? Right, it says, I've realised I've left my gigs, hang on. Okay, got them, I'll put my gigs on. Right, it says, uh, 30 seconds rapid heating, anti-scalding design, constant temperature hair care, temperature con control, and then it says, anion, A-N-I-O-N. I've no anion. I don't know what that means, but anyway, right, light up the beauty of youth. Well, I'm, I've, I've no beauty of youth left, right? But anyway, it, when you open the box, you get your straightening tool. I'll show you that in a minute. And you also get um, this comb, which is a great comb. I've used that quite a bit. A couple of these little clip things to put your hair up in green. And then you get this little case and you get instructions as well. Okay, it's a lovely, lovely present for anybody, right? And honestly, I'm chuffed with it. I'm putting those down there so that I can actually clip my hair up and show you this thing. So I'm going to show you how I, um, how I do my hair with it, right? So I'll just clip up a bit of my hair and then I'll grab the hair styling tool. What I think is great about it is it whips through my hair in half the time that my hair straighteners straighten it, right? So I went through it before I came on. Not very well, I have to say, I just whipped through it. But like I say, it takes no time at all to straighten my hair. So like on a work morning, that's fantastic. So this is it here. So it's got like these uh, ridges going over that your hair goes through. It, you can turn it, so that's the quick turn on button and it goes from 150 degrees right up to 200 degrees which is what I need for my hair because it is so frizzy. But what's great about it is it doesn't just, so it'll keep flashing until it's at the temperature. But what's great about it is it doesn't just straighten your hair, but you can curl your hair with it as well. So I thought I'd show you it. It's fantastic. It's really easy to do. So you just like pull your hair in like this. If you're wanting to curl it, what I find is if you um, sort of tilt it as you're going, you can get it to sort of curl under and things like that. So I wrap my hair around it. It's not hot enough yet. I'm trying to do it before it's heated up. Right, I'll carry on. Right, but uh, eventually it'll heat up enough. And then I'll be able to like curl it. Now I'm not going to curl the whole thing. But what I think is great is that it does curl. Still not hot enough. Come on, Kim. <laughs> Wait a minute. Right, I'm going to put my makeup on and stuff like that as well, but I absolutely love this. Also, I find that any hairs that fall out sort of collect on here, you can take them off at the end. You've not got hair dropping all over the place, which I tend to do. When I go to vacuum, I'm usually vacuuming up great big clumps of hair that have dropped out, you know. So, yeah, is it hot enough yet? The thing is as well, this outside bit do not get so hot. So, less burnage of fingers, etc. Is that hot enough yet? 
yeah it's starting to curl now can you see what i mean so it starts to curl your hair like i say you can just pull it straight down and it'll straighten but then you can actually get it to curl as well love it absolutely love it really really love it so easy for somebody like me to use you know i find it a lot easier than my straighteners to be honest so it's starting to curl it like this now it's heating up right now i don't want mine super curly i just want a little bit of a you know like it to curl slightly under and things and that's what i find this does really really well i'm sure you can curl it more than i'm doing but I just like the way it does, sort of, it curls it under, just gives it a nice bit of um, a twist to your hair, you know, a bit of a curl, give it a bit of volume, that kind of thing. Absolutely love it. Really, really love it. Like I say, it takes half the time to straighten your hair. And um, and on a morning, I really appreciate that. It gives me extra time in bed, you know what I mean? <laughs> Before I go to work. Not that I straighten my hair every single morning when I'm going to work, but... You can do little bits as well. Just let me take my gigs off. I'm having to use the camera here to be able to see what I'm doing. But even little bits, you can get it to curl and things. I've curled that the wrong way. Yeah, that's better. Let's get some more down. Do a bit more in my hair. <laughs> Try and make it look a bit half decent, you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, I'm not a professional hairstylist by any stretch of the imagination. So, but I just, I really appreciate how speedy it is. And the fact that you can get, you know, you can have a couple of looks with it. You know, it's either for straightening or for curling. And I just find it works really easily. You know, it really does work quite easily. So, but my favourite aspects, as I've said, is the speed at which you can get through your hair. Because with hair like mine, sometimes when it's the first straighten after I've washed it, it can take ages with hair straighteners. Ages. The other thing is, they've given you a comb with this. But I find that actually I don't need the comb as much because it just goes straight through. It pulls your hair straight. You know, rather than you, um, you're having to comb it and then straighten it, sort of fl make it flat. You know, you can actually just um, use this. I mean, obviously, I brush it before I've uh, started using this, but I do find it's great. Also, I find less static. That's another good bit about it. So, really, really happy with it. Would highly recommend. So, give me, like I say, a 10% off coupon for you if you want to get yourself one of these or for somebody else think it'll make a great christmas present seriously considering whether any of my daughters would want one you know what i mean although i'm sure they've got all the straightening tools they like because like me they've also got curly hair you know what i mean or at least but maybe it's not quite as curly as mine is but um but yeah they have got some curl to their hair so let's try and get a bit under of this bit I just really, really like it, you know. It's revolutionised my mornings and me going out. I'm not having to spend sort of, uh, having to allocate myself an hour to get ready anymore. You know, to get me air, well, it's not even an hour to get ready. It's an hour to get me air organised. You know, I can just go through it really, really quick. No messing. So, yeah, love that. So you'll probably be seeing that in upcoming videos because like I say, I really love it. Really quick to turn off. There you go. And it lies flat as well. So this don't overheat. So you can just lie it flat. You know, it's really great. It's not going to wobble over, which sometimes my hair straighteners do. So super happy with that. Thanks, VKK. I'm going to insert all the information about this in the description box anyway, in case you want to go ahead and get yourself one. But I love it. I love the look of it. I love the box that it came in. Love the speed at which it does my hair. Just absolutely love it. Sometimes I get sent things and I'm a bit like, yeah, I'm actually going to use this. This one I absolutely use all the time. It's a bit like that time when I got that facial cleanser. I've used that to death. That has completely changed everything that I do. You know, and it's speeded up a load of things. And I'll tell you another thing about that. That um, 
spin care system fantastic for washing your makeup brushes as well like it just sort of you put your makeup brush on it it whizzes around with a bit of like soap and cleans them in no time so i imagine this is going to be another one like that not for cleaning my brushes obviously that'd be ridiculous or for drying them <laughs> but um yeah it's it's completely changed the amount of time i'm spending doing my hair and everything else so thanks vkk and i love this comb as well just go through my hair again <laughs> give it a bit of a comb through right here so i'm gonna put my makeup on and i haven't done one of these in ages and i was sort of thinking what i'm gonna to talk to you about my grandmother right she was hilarious right absolutely hilarious the woman what and I, she didn't mean to be a lot of the time sometimes she did but she always saw the funny side of stuff she'd done herself so i've got um oh i've got my moisturizer first so first up i'm using this avant uh pink orchid hyaluronic glycerin right i'm using this as a moisturizer it's probably not that but anyway i shook it before i came on right so it's like that i really like it. it's quite pricey but i got it in one of my subscription beauty subscription boxes so let's put a bit of this on um right so my grandmother god rest her soul um like i say we're hilarious she's been gone you know past for a, a, a number of years now but um my kids all know these stories and everything about her because she was just the funniest woman honestly hilarious she was she used to, right, so when she were young and before she got married, she'd worked at Dulce's Shoes, right, in uh, Newcastle. And because that's where my family were from, you know, originally. That's where I'm originally from, Newcastle. But, um, yeah, she worked at Dulce's Shoes. And she used to, she was quite tall. So she used to wear a size 7 shoe. Now, at that time, when my grandmother were young, you bear in mind this is the 19 sort of 30s right okay and um, you know she uh she that were quite a big shoe size to have a size seven i think she was about five foot seven my grandmother so she was quite tall as well you know for that time i mean i don't suppose that's tall now you know um i'm five eight but uh, i i don't suppose it's that tall really i know loads of people who are taller than me Right, next up, I'm going to use my favourite at the moment, my Avon BB cream. One, because it's not that um, solid on my skin. And two, because it still matches my skin, I think. Oh, it might be a bit dark, though, now. It's looking like my tan might be fading. So let's get a little... Um, I've got a little... This I'm going to be using later, which has got a mirror in it. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Right, okay. And I've got my water egg. No idea where I got this water egg from, but anyway... Let's hope this isn't too dark. Well, it might be a little bit. Anyway, we're going with it. Okay, I'll just look a bit tan right today. Right, okay, so she had quite big shoes. And when people used to say to, you, say to her, in surprise, you're a size seven. She used to say, no, I'm a size three. I just wear a seven for comfort. Right, that was my grandmother all over. Do you know what I mean? She had pat answers for stuff and it was funny. Right, okay. Now, when she sort of moved down here, because my auntie and my mum moved down here to Yorkshire, and my grandma and my granddad followed him, you know, because that's their family. So they bought an house down here and stuff. Um, and uh, this is in the 70s. And so we all lived around this area. So I used to see my grandmother regularly. I used to go uh, to her house and stay over and stuff like that. I loved it, right? Now, she used to, the way my grandmother used to dress, she used to shop at Marks and Spencer's all the time for her food, for her clothes, everything. She loved Marks's, absolutely loved Marks's. And one of her favourite food things she used to get there was steak and kidney pudding, right? <laughs> I remember this because sometimes when she got, when she were really sort of old, um, I remember going and getting her some shopping from Marks's. I couldn't believe prices because my mum, we were poor as church mice. You know what I mean? And um, uh, the idea of paying what, or, or paying with my grandmother's money for these steak and kidney puddings were a bit of a surprise to me. But anyway, you know, she were old. She'd, she deserved to have some nice stuff. I don't know if that's just too dark on me. This might be the last time I can get away with this, you know. But anyway, right. So she used to shop at Marx's and she used to dress what she used to call all of a piece which were basically all one colour, head to toe. So she'd buy sort of a twin set, so like a little um, top and a cardigan, 
right, pair of trousers in the same colour. And if Maxie's got a new colour in, my grandmother would be there and buying that colour. But because she'd worked previously at a shoe shop, she'd buy what's called shoe paint. I don't think you can buy it now, but back in the day, you used to be able to buy this stuff called shoe paint. She'd buy a pair of um, leather shoes and paint them in the shoe paint to match the outfit. So she had shoes in every colour of the rainbow, outfits in every colour of the rainbow, but she wore head to toe in the same colour. Head to toe, right? And she always looked great. She did, she looked lovely, my grandma. But a very distinctive style she had. Right, I think that's gonna have to do. I'm sort of trying to dab off a bit because I'm aware of how dark it is. You know what I mean, on my skin. But it'll have to do for today. All right, I'm not really going anywhere, guys. I'm not really going anywhere. I'll be sitting watching TV for the rest of today. Do you know what I mean? So and nobody's going to see me, but apart from everybody on YouTube that watches this. All right, okay. So anyway, she was absolutely obsessed with shoes as well. Loved them. Loved clothes, loved shoes, loved Maxis. She were, she were great, honestly. Right, next up, I've got a tiny weenie little... Um, uh, blusher that I got in a subscription box. Now, somebody told me NARS does animal testing. Don't, don't like that. But it came in a subscription box. I've got it now. To throw it out is not going to make any difference at all. You know, it's just, I feel like that's been wasteful. So now I've got it. I'm, I'm using it, right? And it's in this peachy pink colour. I love the colour. You know, just NARS, get with the programme, you know, read the room when it comes to animal testing. Nobody likes that anymore, you know. So anyway, right, I'm going to put a bit of this on. This might make me look even darker than I actually am. So, yeah. So this, I'm going to tell you about this one day. Right, one day we went to meet my grandmother and we, we said we'd meet her for this, for having a coffee, right, in Bradford. She'd been out shopping beforehand, and um, yeah, so she came to meet us in this cafe. In it was Littlewoods Cafe in the centre of Bradford. It's Primark now, is that shop? But anyway, it used to be Littlewoods, and we went to the cafe in there because my grandmother loved going and having a coffee as well. So my mum were there, and I think my sister and and me. I think it might be my younger sister. I can't remember now. I think my older sister might have been at work on this particular day. And anyway, so we'd already got a coffee. So my grandmother sends me to go get her a coffee, right? I'm putting a bit of highlighter on. And it is this one that I got from Kiko. I really love it. It's in like a goldish tone, but it's really, really nice. Well, absolutely love it. I'm going to try this. Right, so she opens her bag uh, to get a purse out. And all of a sudden, closes her bag really quickly. And the look of horror on her face were unbelievable, right? Absolute horror. You would think, honestly. <laughs> when you think, well, I'll tell you what had happened, right? You'll know why she were horrified. But honestly, she were absolutely horrified, right? So she turns to my mum and she says to her, I've just shoplifted some shit. Honestly, right? My mum's like, what do you mean? She went, look, she opened her bag and in her bag were three, whatever the shoe is that's on a rack outside of um, a shoe shop, three of the same um, shoes, um, all the same design, but in different sizes, all right feet or left feet, whichever they were. Right, what had happened was, my grandmother was not a shoplifter, I'm just going to point that out there. But what had happened was, she'd put her bag down while she were trying on shoes and must have knocked. My grandmother's handbag were like my handbag, you know what I mean? You could have fit a small child in there. Right, what must have happened is, she'd knocked the rack that were holding all these um, shoes and three shoes had fallen off into her bag. She'd not realised, just picked up her bag and left. Right, so there's three identical shoes in different sizes, all like right feet, we'll say right feet, and they're in her handbag. She nearly pitched a fit. She was absolutely, her face was scarlet from where you could see a neckline over the top of a twin set. 
right up to her hairline. She was horrified. Absolutely horrified she was. The poor woman, right? She went, what if they've seen me? What if somebody's seen me? <laughs> My mother's trying to calm her down. My mum's saying to her, we'll take her back and explain what's happened. She was like, I don't think I can. He, I don't think I can. Right, she was absolutely mortified. The poor woman, absolutely mortified that she'd managed to walk away with these three odd shoes. My mother was saying to her, you know, honestly, they believe you, mum. What, you know, unless you've got, unless you, you walk in there with one leg. Do you know what I mean? You've only got the one leg. So you only need one foot. They're not going to think that you've done it on purpose. Anyway, the mother had to talk her down from the edge with two cups of tea. You know what I mean, right? So next up, I'm going to put some eyeshadow on. I should have put my brows on next, but I'm going to put my eyeshadow on. This is another key core set, right? And it's just got two eyeshadows in. I got it at um, Valentine's, just bought it myself, because I really love the way that they had these, this sort of heart shape and this. Right, absolutely love them. And I'm, I, like, always just do a two eyeshadow look. So, I'm going to start off, I'm going to put this colour all over my lid, um, slightly above and in my, in my crease, and just a bit on the inside, lower eyelid. Remembered what it is this time. Yeah, all my days. Anyway, they ended up going back with these shoes. My mother had to go in with them. My grandmother stood outside, absolutely petrified. I think she thought the police were going to come and, like, take her away. Do you know what I mean? So my mum went back into the shop, took these three odd shoes, explained what had happened. But I swear, it took my mother two cups of tea to get my grandmother calmed down because, honestly, she'd never... She were absolutely horrified, mortified that the idea that anybody would think that she'd done it on purpose... You know what I mean? It were crazy. Absolutely crazy. But no out of the ordinary for my grandmother, really. You know, it was just another... My grandmother always used to say, that's another chapter for the book. You know what I mean? That were her favourite saying. So, yeah, it were my grandmother's another chapter for the book. Absolutely crackers, honestly. So, another time... <laughs> so, my grandmother... I'm going to put this darker colour slightly on the outside of my uh, lower eyelid. And I'm going to put it in my crease as well. It's only light makeup, as always. I just want a light makeup look. You know, if I'm ever going out, out, I'll probably film putting on a full, full face of makeup. But this is generally how I put my makeup on. It's very rare. Maybe Christmas Eve, I might put more makeup on. But this is gen genuinely what I normally, and generally what I normally put on. Right, okay. Just very light eye makeup. So I'm putting this in my crease, trying to blend it a bit. Put it on my top eyelid on the outside part a bit. Um, oh dear. So, my grandmother used to have what she called a ration cupboard. Right, so bear in mind, my grandmother had been an adult during the Second World War. You know, my auntie were born at the beginning of the Second World War. My mum were born at the end of the Second World War. So, you know, and that had an impact, I think, on people. Yeah, a significant impact on people. And it certainly did on my grandma. And she were always worried that she wouldn't be able to get things. So this ration cupboard used to always have things like sardines, you know, tinned fish, you know, sort of sardines, pilchards, that kind of thing in it. Um, some uh, tinned fruit, all kinds of tinned fruit that she could get were always in there. Always in syrup, always tinned fruit. And condensed milk. They were always like a tins and tins, not condensed milk, carnation milk. That's what I'm thinking of. Tins and tins of carnation milk, right? But the thing is, she didn't rotate the stock. So sometimes you'd go in there, find a tin. It were out of date by about five years. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but she always had this ration cupboard. And you could always guarantee you'd get a pudding at my grandma's, which we didn't generally have at our house, right? You know, um, because she'd always give you tinned fruit with carnation milk on. You know, it were always like your pudding then. And I used to love it. Absolutely love it. She used to let you pick which tinned fruit you liked. And if there were tinned strawberries, oh, my days, absolutely loved them. And my grandfather's, in, the impact it had on my grandfather was that it, when, it, when they moved down here, um, down to Yorkshire, am I going to leave it at that? Come on, Kim.
I've got another brush, it's too big, but I'm going to try and blend that a little bit um, and just make it a bit softer. It is very light, but you know, that's how I like it. So my grandfather, how we were affected by it, were, um, by the war, where he, when they'd bought an house, um, he let my grandmother like have flowers in the front garden and stuff, you know, he, he said that were her garden. The back garden were like an allotment. It has veg, it used to grow everything. He had a tiny little like plasticky um, greenhouse thing, right? And he used to grow tomatoes and stuff like that in there. But out in the garden, there were potatoes, um, sprouts, carrots, everything. Honestly, cabbages, lettuces, strawberries at the top end. But he also used to keep rabbits, right, for food, right? Because I think it had such an impact on him that he thought, you know, never again are we going to be short of food, you know. And if you can grow it yourself, fantastic. So that's going to have to do for my eyeshadow. So I'm going to draw my eyebrows on and I'm going to use this Indestructor brow. I've lost the little caps for both ends, you know, at some point. They're in a drawer somewhere, I'm sure. But I absolutely love this. Who is it by? It must just be by. Be perfect. I will definitely buy this again. I absolutely love it. Love it. It's great. It draws a hard but fine line. So you can actually draw individual hairs on your eyebrows, which is all what I need. You know, that's the sort of my preferred um brow pencil so i'm just going to try draw my brows in a bit right so yeah so my grandfather we'd be feeding rabbits one week and we'll be eating them next do you know what i mean and i remember once going in the kitchen you know, and he was skinning one of these things over at sink i nearly passed out so after that when i realized what we we're eating we used to say to my mum because he used to bring you know because my grandfather had been a butcher and that was his apprenticeship and then he was a chef in um in the uh, RAF so he'd you know he were able to do stuff like that you know it wouldn't have been something I'd have been able to do but when we cottoned on that these rabbits were what we were eating right we used to say to my mum is it rabbit or is it chicken and she always used to say it was chicken irrespective of what it was you know what I mean and um and so we got me and my sister got wise to this and we'd say can we have a wing right <laughs> We knew if we weren't allowed to have a wing, it wasn't chicken. Do you know what I mean, right? Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'm drawing my eyebrows on, so I don't know if you can see the difference between the almost no eyebrow and this eyebrow. Please let it be all right. I'll put my glasses on and check in a bit. So, yeah, so it were, um, it were a bit strange, really, you know, but like I said, have these hutches with rabbits in, you know, and there's uh, something to be said about, you know, that sort of analogy about, you know, what, you know, breeding like rabbits, because they did as well. There were constantly new rabbits in there, constantly new rabbits. But anyway, back to my grandma. So, you used to go, my grandmother used to, uh, my grandfather used to, my grandma used to ask my granddad, on a Saturday morning, he used to walk into a local town and it used to have like a thriving little market in the centre of town. And my grandma used to get three cakes off this cake stall, right, She'd get, um, usually she'd get coffee, a coffee cake that were like about so deep, tasted of coffee. I had like um, a sugary coffee like uh, coloured circle of icing on top and then squirted on in, in chocolate, used to say coffee on it. Right, that was a coffee cake. And then she used to get um, a coconut cake, right, which was um, covered in like desiccated coconut. And it had a cherry in the middle on the top. And then she'd get one other cake, right? I can't even remember what the other ones were. Because my sister's favourite were the coconut cake and my favourite were the coffee cake, right? My grandmother always used to have those in tins at her house. But the thing was, she'd never leave a piece of this cake. I don't mean she'd eat it herself, right? So if she opened a cake, the whole thing had to be eaten. Which were great if there were six of you. She'd open the cake, she'd cut it into six pieces, everybody would have a piece. If there were two of you, you'd get served half a cake, right? <laughs> because she used to say, I'm not putting part of a cake back in my tin. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Literally, she'd slice the cake into half and give you half a cake if there were just two of you, right? It were hilarious, absolutely hilarious. I mean, as a child, it were fantastic, absolutely fantastic. 
But I'm sure we're eating way more cake at my grandma's than anybody needs to eat. Right, I don't know if they're like, okay. Are they all right? Who knows? Let's just fill a little bit in here. <laughs> Trying to rub out or smudge any bits that I'm not sure about. Oh, blinking it, they'll have to do, right? They'll have to do. Oh my days. Right, so, um, and the other thing is, right, if you were at her house and you used to say, when I can I have a biscuit? She used to say, there's one for your mouth, one for your hands, one for your pocket. So she'd give you three biscuits. It didn't matter what were happening, right? Yes, you can have a biscuit. One for your mouth, one for your hands, one for your pocket. Right, and it was such a lovely thing. You know, that honestly, I'm still retelling that story now, aren't I? So, next up, I'm going to put on this. It's um, a mascara by Longcom. This is Longcom. Sorry, my voice is just going. This is undoubtedly my favourite mascara at the moment. I absolutely love it. I got this in Look Incredible subscription box, a beauty subscription box, and it was like my favourite, favourite thing that I got in it, and I love it. So, I'm going to try and put some of this on. Can I even see my brows? Yeah, they'll have to do. All right, yo. So, yeah, so she'd always do stuff like that. And she used to keep money for us. She'd give us pocket money, but she used to keep it at her house until we needed it. In these Toby jugs. I don't know if you remember Toby jugs. They were like ceramic jug jugs in the shape of like, you know, a man, right, with a hat on, right? And, um, and they used to play music. She had one that she used to keep the money in, for me and my sibs, and one, I just blobbed it under my eye, one that she'd keep the money in for my cousins, you know, because they were my auntie and my mum, you know, so she'd give us all the same amount of pocket money and it'd stay in these Toby jugs. And we used to love playing tunes to those Toby jugs and counting the pennies that were in it, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm saying, I think she used to put like about five or 10p in a week for us, you know what I mean? But I mean, that was quite a bit then, I suppose. And it also, we were only kids, you know what I mean? What did we need, really? We certainly didn't need cake or biscuits, did we? <laughs> or any more sweeties, you know? Oh, dear. Oh, my neck. I'm going to tell you another story about her. So, my grandmother used to have clothes that you used to have to dry clean, right? So, that were a mystery to me. I didn't even know what dry cleaning was till about three years ago. I honestly thought... But when it said dry cleaning, it meant that they weren't actually cleaning the things at all. I sort of had a vague suspicion that what was happening was they were just dining the stuff and giving you them back. Right, but anyway, I've realised now that's not the case. But um, yeah, for years it had never crossed my mind because I've never had all that I needed to dry clean. You know, if it comes into my house, if it can't go in my washing machine, well, it doesn't last very long, you know what I mean? It's got to be able to go in washing machine. I, I neither have the time, the patience... Nor the inclination to be taking stuff to a dry cleaner. I'm blobbing this all over the place. Please forgive me. Making a right performance out of this. But my grandmother did have things that needed dry cleaning. And she dry cleaned things for my grandfather as well. So she'd go and take them into a little dry cleaners in local town. <clears throat> in a parade of shops. Okay, next at bus stops. And she'd go like once a fortnight, something like that, to drop off a dry cleaning. So this one day she rocks up at our house after she'd been into the local town and uh, dropped off a dry cleaning. Absolutely mortified. <laughs> Absolutely mortified. And almost like, what's happened? She went, E, I was saying, you're never going to believe what's happened. You're never going to believe it. Right, that's going to have to do. I'm sure I've got a blob under this eye and on outside under that eye, but it's going to have to do anyway. Right, next up, I'm going to put this on, which is by Lime Crime. It's um, like a liquid lip. I absolutely love it. It's quite dark, though. But given I've got quite dark skin at the moment with that foundation or BB cream that's quite, um, it's a bit dark for me now, it'll have to do, you know, it'll have to, I, it'll probably tone it down a little bit. So if you can see, it's sort of this purpley brown colour. Okay, so anyway, my grandmother had gone, tanned in her. Actually, it's a lot lighter than I remember it. I thought it were a darker purple. It's much lighter than I remember I'm not sure how I feel about that. And my lips are so dry. So dry. I need to put, really, I need to put Vaseline on her. Right, just let me put a bit of this on. And I'll tell you what had happened to her. 
No idea. I'm rubbing my lips together and all I can feel is dry skin on my lips. So it's probably all clumped on that. I thought this were a dark purple. I think I must have another one that is a dark purple and I've just mixed him up. But um, I think that's too light for this sort of darker skin look. But um, but it's going to have to stay on because I'm just too, you know, I'm too lazy to go fetch another one. That's the truth. So anyway, my grandmother had taken a dry cleaning into the shop and said to the lady behind the counter, um, excuse me, pet, can I have these dry cleaned by next Tuesday? And the woman had said to her, well, I would love, but this is radio rentals. My grandmother had gone to the next door shop, mixed them up, walked in, passed all the TVs, washing machines, video recorders, the whole lot, gone to the counter with the dry cleaning. Honestly, right? <laughs> I just think, what did those people in that shop think that day? They must have thought she were batty, you know what I mean, right? And she wasn't, well, she was, but she were just like, she wasn't like... I didn't have dementia, she was just a bit crackered. <laughs> well, I would love, but this, this is radio rentals. Oh dear, funny, funny times, absolutely funny times. Goodness me, I was thinking of something else that she'd done as well, but I've forgotten now. Oh, the other thing that she used to do is she'd go get her hair done at the hairdressers. Now, you bear in mind, right, detergents were you know detergent detergents were around when my grandmother were really young you know what i mean they were an invention that happened afterwards so my grandmother was fascinated by you know that when you've got really clean air and you pull your hand down it when it's wet and it squeaks right my grandmother when she was young had never experienced that so she absolutely loved having her hair done like washed and set she used to have a perm, as most people did at that time, you know, sort of um, sort of curly perm. And, uh, yeah, but she loved going. So once a week, she'd go down to get her hair done and have it done in a washing set. You know, it would just, it would, the stuff like that, that I will always remember about my grandmother and I really, really miss about her. Just those characteristics that were just so wonderful, you know, that were just completely her, uh, completely of the time and uh but also really really lovely you know she always had polo mints in her pocket as well absolutely love polo mints and she couldn't walk through a perfume shop without squirting herself with perfume and one day she'd squirted herself so much with perfume <laughs> with all these different perfumes trying them all out and she'd buy them and all you know but she'd squirted herself so many times she had a rain mac on it were running down a rain mac <laughs> <laughs> the perfume, oh my goodness, she was absolutely wonderful, her name was Frida, um, she was just amazing, what a lovely grandma to have, I absolutely adored her, really, really did, I, I hope you, I, you know, you've got some nice stories, If you, you know, about your um, relatives and things, I always think it's those things that live on beyond the time that the people do themselves you know those lovely little stories and stuff and like I say even though my kids can't really remember my grandma um, they, they know about her through those stories but anyway that's everything for today if you've liked this video please give us a like it really helps us out and if you like this kind of content you might want to consider subscribing i've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason i'll also link that styling tool by vkk honestly like i say would highly recommend it cuts down your hair straightening time in half Right, it really, really does. I'm not completely confident about curling my hair with it, but I'm going to keep going with it and see whether I can master it. But I just love the way it straightens it. And also, there's less static, which I find is a major problem with my hair. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!